What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about the One UI 4.1 update. We're going to be going over all of the essential updates that was brought to the older phones. So the Note 20 Ultra, the S10 Plus, Note 10 Plus, uh, it is coming to those phones. And basically these are the same features that you would find on the S22 Ultra. Uh, so if you do want to update, you just go to software updates, check if you have the update. If you don't have it yet, because I haven't got it on my Note 10 Plus, uh, just wait for it to continue to uh, roll out here, but we are on the One UI 4 update as 4.1 update as you can see. Alright, so one of the first things they uh, improved was actually the nighttime portrait shots. So you could always go, you know, the 2x in portrait, I believe. But they definitely improved that. So if you're somebody that takes photos. Um, you know, sort of in a low light environment, say you're at a carnival or something like that, uh, it'll take a much better portrait shot as well. So definitely uh, check that out. All right, next is going to be the RAM Plus feature. So we're going to head into settings. We're going to go to battery and device care. And then we're going to go to memory here. So I prefer this more on older devices if you want to increase the RAM because it's basically increasing your virtual uh, RAM for performance. But for the most part, these older flagship phones do pretty good. But in the future, you know, you might want to turn this on just in case your phone starts having, you know, performance issues. Just keep this in mind that you do have uh, this. So the sweet spot is really four. So you can keep it at that. Remember, it's going to take storage away from your phone. So it'll take that eight gigs basically. And um, yeah, so if you ever run into performance problems and stuff like that, uh, definitely play around with your virtual RAM or your RAM plus and see, like I said, you got that six or eight but like i said the note 20 ultra uh performs fine uh, so we're just going to leave that alone All right, so the next cool feature is going to be the smart widgets so we're going to pinch go to widgets on here and you'll see smart widgets you'll have three options and just to show you we'll go ahead and use this one right here at the very bottom here so basically it reminds me of apple's basically stacking widgets uh, so you can see we got our calendar we'll go ahead and add our weather so you can see scrolling through this basically cleans up the interface so you can have more widgets on one single screen i think google should just go ahead and implement this i think you know when apple did it they did such a great job uh with it so why not just take it um you also have your current widget settings you can mess around with uh you can also you know change see how the intensity of that change it to black get it to look how you want it to uh, add to smart widget now this is also pretty cool as well too so we'll go ahead and add another widget into this so our bookmarks right here and um, we can also just keep going so we'll add our YouTube music so it's just really really cool it really cleans up for people who are into the more uh, you know simple design setup for your phone you don't want a ton of widgets everywhere but you do want to utilize those widgets definitely uh, you know take this into consideration and use it. All right, so another little slept on feature is actually Wi-Fi sharing So if we scroll down a quick way to get to your Wi-Fi is just hold your Wi-Fi down like that We go to settings now you also have a QR code right here so we can do quick share nearby share So essentially what that does is that if you have somebody you ever been over somebody's house, right? And uh, you want to get it on their Wi-Fi well instead of them having to give you the password and all that stuff they can just quickly share it with you so that is what Samsung was thinking there and I think that's a pretty nice feature because we've I think we've all probably been in that situation where we want to get on the Wi-Fi and you gotta you might get the password wrong sometimes so it's just an easier way to just be able to scan that uh, QR code there um, as well so you also have that quick share and nearby share just in case you want to share it with um, you know that individual person just pick that person um, yeah so basically a uh, pretty awesome feature as well too alright guys the next thing I want to show you is the color palette it does I have a different look to it now so we're gonna go to wallpapers and styles so you have that same look on the S22 uh, Ultra here you can you know go ahead and tweak it by you know your wallpaper it automatically adjusts it just looks different now but I don't really count that as like a feature now this next thing I think is uh, pretty important here so if we go into our gallery uh, application Samsung has added this pretty cool um, add the portrait effect to it so you know how in the standard camera app you might take a photo and then you might want the background to be blurry after right so like it, if you take a standard photo it won't be uh, it won't give you that portrait effect so basically we're going to hit the three dots and then we're going to go to add portrait effect 
and now you can see the background is more blurry and my face like is it, it gives it that more uh, like it gives you the where the person stands out more and I can go ahead and increase that effect if I want to which I think looks pretty sweet so we'll go ahead and save that and let's see if I can show you guys the before so you guys can see how everything is kind of clear you can see it then I go to this it's kind of blurry I'm more in focus I'm more of the center of the, the photo right so that is also a pretty cool a little feature right there all right so that was pretty much it guys those were all the essential things there are other like small little intricate things but they're kind of boring i don't think anybody really cares um but yeah so those are the things that i thought were pretty cool so be sure to let me know what you guys thought and i'll catch you guys in the next one